Norco College is 141 acres, and we serve 10,000 students. But when you join us, you're not just going to be a number. You're going to be placed in a very small cohort of other students in a very specific simulation and gaming track. We're going to guide you through your two years here while you earn either a certificate or an associate's degree in preparation to either join the industry or transfer to a university. We're going to provide you in-class tutors, out-of-class assistants, and even have monthly meetings to connect you to all of our student services. If you do your part, we're going to make sure you're successful. Welcome to Norco College. Faculty are rock stars. They're experienced, they're passionate, and combined they make a really dynamic team. People can't believe that they're at a community college doing this caliber of work, and that's exactly what we want to show them. Video games, a multi-billion dollar industry that's fueled by passionate, creative developers, game designers, audio engineers, programmers, and artists. Who are they? What do they do? And how did they get where they are today? It all starts with an idea. In the game design classes, students are learning the fundamental principles of good game design. The ultimate goal is to make a game fun, so we break that down into components. They learn to work in teams and rapidly prototype and iterate on their game design, so at the end of each class they have an original game project. So the game is now designed, but your work is far from over. How do you visualize this new world? How do you breathe life into it? How do you convey these concepts? That's where the video game artists come in. Students within the Game Art Certificate program will learn the core fundamental process of how a game's made from the art side of it, from the polygonal modeling, from the concept art, the design, the actual creation of the geometry, painting the geometry. They're gonna learn how to create the art side of it from a very foundational level and then we'll expand upon that in other classes. In my classes, students of all sorts of disciplines take animation. Um, sometimes it's modelers, sometimes it's people who want to do full character animation or performance animation. And students can specialize in a lot of different areas. There are people that need to just do a performance based on a character, so it would be more like traditional acting. And then there's animators who want to animate objects or inorganic materials such as cars, cameras, special effects, that sort of thing. And they can specialize in that as well. There's a third branch, which is even more uh, prolific, known as uh, rigging, where it's the people who set up the animations and make all the parts work so that the performance people can do their job. And that's a very sought after uh, job. In an animation pipeline, you have the model that's built, and it's a 3D model. Um, but to be able to make it move around, you need to have a rig that's put inside of it. So it's basically like putting a bone structure with inside your body, and that is what drives and moves um, the characters around, then the animator can take that rig and then, you know, do animations with it. Experience points, artificial intelligence, and even the forces of physics. Who controls these? Who's responsible for them? And who implements them in your favorite games? None other than the video games programmer. Without game programming, games wouldn't exist. A programmer provides a set of rules, to the game engine so that everything works as originally designed. Despite the fact that computers are an invention of man, for ages we've struggled with how does one communicate with a computer. We've invented these things that we call computer programming languages, and those, combined with physics and mathematics, are the tools that the video game programmer uses to craft these immense immersive experiences to create these simulations that sometimes feel lifelike, sometimes feel fantasy, but always feel fun. A programming student learns the concepts and history behind programming. Then they transition into object-oriented programming for video games. After that, they join their class cohort in order to work on collective student game projects. Today's video games are just as much an auditory experience as they are a visual one. From jaw-dropping music themes, to realistic sound effects, to dialogue that makes you believe, video game audio is the final piece of the game development puzzle. 
Students in the game audio program are exposed to the industry standard software Pro Tools, music composition, sound effects, and dialogue. In game audio composition, we might compose a single theme and then create variations on that theme so that we can influence the experience of the player within the game and its environment. Whether that's triumphant or tragic, it's a way for the audio to influence the experience of the player. Game audio is not much different than working with audio for film. The added element here is the game engine. We program the game engine in order to tell it how to handle the audio assets that we give it. A game audio student should expect to learn all of the basic concepts that an audio student would learn with the added knowledge of basic programming and game engine implementation.